if anyone's been an engineer for any number of time, you know, the senior engineer is always telling you what are the requirements? What are the requirements? They're always, you know, hounding. Like the first time you'll in your you'll be in any kind of meeting with any senior level technical person is almost always going to say, well, what are your requirements? And I think it's funny how that's Elon's first point is, you know, make your requirements less dumb. <laughs> His point I thought was funny was that it's all requirements are definitely dumb. You know, you got to make them less so. And they're particularly dangerous if a very smart person gave them to you. Why is that? <laughs> I guess the way that I interpret that, the more specific your requirements are, the more pigeonholed the designer gets. And it kind of squashes some of the creative freedom to be able to solve a problem in a different way while still meeting requirements. I and agree. I think of like, think of the different, think of like, okay, make a rocket to go to the moon. Think about that as a requirement compared to make a rocket that's 168 feet tall, can carry this payload and is this the met diameter. And you know, think about as you get more and more specific. You're constraining potential solutions that wouldn't necessarily have been thought of the first time somebody thought of those requirements because they've got a solution exactly. in mind and they're basing their requirements off of what they think would solve the problem. Exactly. But the issue is maybe that's not the best solution. And so, exactly. okay, I see what you're saying. Now. And like right now I'm, I'm working with a customer that's saying, you know, use this particular regulator, please. You know, this is what we qualified. I'd like you to use this particular regulator. And well, we're having hard times getting it in this current supply chain. Yeah, uh, that, issue. that makes a lot of sense. I mean, like, well, we're having a really hard time getting it. So I, I you know, I have these back and forth. This is a pneumatic companies. regulator or an electrical regulator? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, I know you have a wide variety of, 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 of guests and stuff. It's for electrical. I'm Got it. Electrical. DC to DC a converter? A voltage regulator. Got it. Um, yeah, linear regulator, low dropout linear regulator. Okay. Um, now you're speaking my language. Yeah. Yeah, low, low, yeah, exactly. Low noise. Um, <laughs> and so I'm trying to like say, okay, can we just open up, you know, how about other ways to solve this problem? And I think that's, it's good that this customer is flexible and they're willing to work with us on, you know, okay, maybe not this specific one, but let's try to find ones that can meet what we're trying to do. And that's kind of a sense of like make the requirement less dumb. Yeah. In a way, making it less specific as well. 